Hello, friends. I have breaking news to share with you today. Higher tax filing costs could lead to much smaller refund checks for millions of Americans. But the Internal Revenue Service is trying to fix this. The tax agency has confirmed that there is a new system that could benefit many taxpayers. My greatest friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video. Also, tomorrow, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. From Texas is recognized. I would yield one minute to the gentlelady from Wisconsin. The gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Thank you so much. Do you all remember when our good friend Mitt Rom Romney talked about the 47% of the takers? This bill locks in the principle that we have takers and makers. We have $600 billion of permanent tax cuts to the wealthiest people. And yet some woman who gets up in a rural area and marches off to the grocery store and works 30 hours a week won't see a dime of this tax credit because she's too poor, because she's a taker. She's not a maker. And, you know, I think it's all right. This is a compromise bill. It's better than current law, where that same minimum wage worker would have to work 70 hours a week in order to get this tax credit. Now only has to work 40 hours a week, plus do a little Uber on the side to get the tax credit. So I think we need to compromise, but we don't need to capitulate. And I represent the 47% of those. We're going to expand this tax credit for poor children. This time but has the expired. poorest will be even poorer. According to NBC News, taxpayers are facing higher costs to file their tax returns this year. Some will find relief from a new government tool, but most won't. The cost of tax return preparation and other accounting fees rose by 8.3%, steeper than the current 3.4% inflation rate between November 2023 and the same month the year before. According to the latest federal data, that category reflects the growing cost of using DIY tax software and of hiring an accountant. NBC News has noted that many tax preparation firms, like other employers, have had to offer higher pay to attract workers in an industry short on accountants. This is as fewer college students pursue accounting degrees. A study found that the average cost for filing an individual return rose to $248 in 2023 from $213 in 2021. It is not unusual for preparers to raise rates, though the impact on consumers can vary widely. Some accountants charge a fixed hourly rate, while others set a minimum fee with added costs for more complex returns. The latest survey found 49% of tax professionals increase their prices annually, and experts say that some of the most popular do-it-yourself filing tools are getting more expensive too. According to NBC News, H&R Block's desktop software options this year range from $25 for preparing basic returns to $75 for its premium offerings, like those capable of handling taxes on rental property. Since last year, those two are up by $5 and $10. Later this tax filing season, prices across all of its plans will rise by another $10. An H&R Block spokesperson said, we delayed it as long as we could, citing higher costs for distribution and development. TurboTax has kept its pricing unchanged from one year ago. Its desktop software tools which range from $40 for filing basic returns to $105 for premium offerings, remain above H&R Block's pricing, and they'll also be going up by $10 later this tax season. Both H&R Block and TurboTax offer free online filing services for simple returns. 
but itemized deductions and slightly more complicated tax situations often require paying for upgraded features. And as many tax filers are reminded each year, both companies' basic software options cover only federal taxes, with state filings tacking on another $40 a piece. The federal government hopes to change that. The Internal Revenue Service is now offering direct file. It is a new option allowing many taxpayers to file straightforward federal returns for free. This year, it's launching a pilot program in a dozen states Arizona, California, Florida, Massachusetts, Nevada, New Hampshire, New York, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. And all will roll out incrementally through mid March. Many eligible taxpayers will be able to use direct file to submit state taxes for free. Experts say that in Arizona, full time residents with simple returns, largely those with common income sources, and limited claims like the child tax credit, can use direct file to file both their state and federal returns at no cost. The IRS already offers free file, which steers people with an annual income of $79,000 or less towards third party software they can use for free. Major tax software providers have slammed direct file, which threatens to eat into their customer base, saying their offerings help filers maximize their refunds. One H&R Block spokesperson has said, the mission of the Internal Revenue Service is to collect as much revenue as possible to fund the federal government, not to guarantee that Americans get their maximum refund and best outcome at tax time. TurboTax netted its parent company over $4 billion in revenue in the 2023 fiscal year. At h and Block, where assisted tax preparation drives most of its business, do-it-yourself products have brought in over $300 million in revenue last fiscal year. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about direct file? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my great and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My dear friends, thank you very much for being part of this community. This coming Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, do make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed week.